Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Friday of the first week of Advent. And today is also a memorial. Today is the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, priest. And I'd encourage you, as I always do, to just look him up online or check one of your saint's books to find out more about this great saint and the way in which he uh, was able to contribute to the life of the church and the vitality of the faith in which we live. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, Two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done to you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things that is interesting about ordinary time is usually, uh, even in our Gospel readings, we stay in a sequence of readings. There we may jump over a little bit, but we always kind of stay in a chronology during ordinary time. But during a season like Advent, it is not about a chronology, but rather a journey of faith. And so each day is kind of a building block of faith where we add another little component to faith, whether it be uh, believing that Jesus can help uh, take care of our daily needs as we did when we read the uh, story of the feeding of the 4,000, or whether it's something else that he can do that, that will help us to build our faith on a rock. Today, we recognize the fact that that his power transcends anything upon the earth, that he has the power, as St. Paul would say, to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what we could ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. And so today that power is at work for healing with these blind men. And as Jesus was passing by, these blind men uh, were crying out to him, Son of David, have pity on us. And again, uh, a, a much better word there would be, have mercy on us. Give us your unmerited favor. We don't deserve what you could do for us, but please do it. And so uh, when he uh, was there at the house, they came and um, he asked them specifically what they wanted. And, you know, they told him they wanted to be healed. He says, do you believe I can do this? And they said, yes, Lord, we do. And so he touched their eyes and said, let it be done for you according to your faith. Isn't it amazing that here we have Jesus uh, actually uh, doing whatever was necessary, that his power, exceeding abundant as it was, could just cause the blind to see. We don't know what was wrong with their eyes, whether it was uh, disease or something else, all we know is they could not see. We don't even know if they might have been blind from birth or not. All we know is that at the moment that Jesus touched their eyes and spoke the words, they were healed. Now, one of the things that happened here is uh, they didn't follow along and they didn't follow up with what Jesus wanted afterward because he did not want them to spread the word. He said, you know, see that no one knows about this. He didn't want them to, to go out and to declare what was happening. He was trying to keep things a little bit subdued, but they went out and they spread the word. But, but again, how not? Because if you are blind and you go back to your families, they're going to take notice of the fact that you can now see. So it would be hard for them to be quiet. Nonetheless, word began to spread throughout that whole area, the whole land, got wind of the fact that miracles were taking place. Now, this is early on in Jesus' ministry, but there were already things that he had been doing in terms of healing the centurion's servant, cleansing the leper, 
uh, so many other healings that were taking place. So this is not the first one. But again, each time people heard the word that something was going on, their faith was increased and they wanted to see Jesus. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as we continue our journey uh, in Advent, what a good time for us to remember that he is the God who does exceedingly abundantly beyond what we could ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.